Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Adam back here, and today I have a tutorial. Um, now this basically um, is just how to build a figure from the bottom of to from bottom to top, basically um, using metal armor. Now. Um, and all the steps you need to make in order to make a figure like my waxer or this pilot minifigure. Um, all these little pieces of metal, all these fabric um, pieces. And yeah, so I, today, uh, I'm going to be making a Phase 2 Commander Cody. Uh, I already started... I just dabble, or I did uh, these three little dashes and the outlines for the top pieces or marks. Um, so, yeah. Um, basically, I, yeah, so the first step you need to make is you need to remove the arms from your figure. Uh, it can be phase two or phase one, like oil, or waxer, I mean. Um, so you'll want to take off the arms, like this, and they'll be, uh, hopefully they'll be white. I don't know why they'd be any other color unless you were making a, char a shadow trooper. Um, then you will want to take your black paint. This is apple barrel can't really see it well. I'll tip it over. There you go. Um, black paint. And then you will want to paint it. Not, um, here I'll show you how you should paint it. So you should paint it so that it doesn't go around this side of the arms, but, um, it just shows enough so you can't see the white when you apply it to the minifigure. Because if you paint back here, uh, it will make the arm a lot harder to move. Um, and the paint will start to rub off on the arm, and that's not really what you want. Um, so, yeah. Uh, sorry, my lights aren't very good. Um, so, next. So, you'll paint those, and then you'll sit them, let them dry for about an hour. And I, that's what I didn't want to do, so I decided to paint them beforehand. So, first, you'll want to make this piece. Uh, I think Noble Artist did a video on this. Uh, if Noble Artist, if you're watching this, I'm not trying to steal your idea. I just wanted um, to show my own way um, that I do stuff, because I don't know exactly how you do things. Um, but, let's see if my camera will focus. Come on. Come on. Nope. Okay. Uh, my iPhone doesn't focus very well when there's a lot of light projecting onto it. But, um, anyway, you can kind of, let's see if that helps. Yeah, you can kind of tell what it is. It's like a triangular shape. Um. I don't know why it's not focusing very well at all. Let's see if I can move back my camera. Um, there we go. Nope, not really. Okay. Well, I guess it's not going to focus, but you're going to take, it's like these two go together. And then next you'll need some super glue. I have this super glue. Um, came in a little set or something. And want to pop the cap off, and on the very ends of it, right here, you're going to want to put a little dab. Oh my god, it's not focusing. Alright, so we put a little bit there. Let's see if it will help if I move it up here. Uh, 
then you'll want to put it right on the edge of the black and right by the hand. Oh, not quite. Right there. Sorry, you can't see this. Alright, well. So you want to put it right on the edge. Oh, my thumb's blocking it. So you want to put it right there. There we go. So see where I put it? I'm sorry about the blurriness. Um, so you want to put it right there. So it's not touching that part, but it's, um, yeah. So you want to put it right there and let it sit for a minute, or else if you try and bend it around too early, uh, it will come off and it will be a big mess. If you wonder why my hands are always, like, kind of, there's always skin coming off of it, um, kind of gross, but, um, it is because of the super glue. Super glue can get very messy, and you never want to, um, get it on your hands, because... Even running it on warm water like you're supposed to doesn't work very well. That just may let you see where exactly it is. There we go. Now it's focusing. So you want to do the same to the other arm. Now, um, you'll want them to match up so the small side is always on the inside of the arm. Uh, this will be a very long video. I'm hoping I can edit it down. But I can't really because there's not going to be a lot of space where you can't see it. So, um, while those are sitting, just for a little a couple seconds longer, uh, you want to take the circles. Uh, you can punch hole or punch out these of, out of your metal. Um, if you don't know what metal I use, just use the Coca-Cola can metal or any other metal. You want to take this is all noble artists but um yeah so you'll want to bend it like so and then you'll take the other one bend it around this top part right here you'll just bend it around okay and then these are your shoulder pads um, shout out to Noble Artists for providing, I would use my own metal, but it would take too long to cut out, um, for providing the template. This is what I'm using it for. Uh, his channel, link in the description, uh, it's awesome, go check him out. Um, but so, actually, let's paint the helmet right now. So I'm painting Commander Cody, and I gotta fill these little two top parts with orange. So take the testers, and put it right there. Um, tink, oh, I mean, I'll take my paintbrush, dip it in. Got a little too much. Put it. Down. Yeah, it wasn't perfect. It's okay. Then we'll do the other one. Got a little too much again. Yeah, it only focuses when I have my whole hand. That wasn't perfect, but, um, touch it up later. Uh, that's another good point, I guess. Um, if it's never going to be perfect the first time, um, you paint, but, uh, you just, um, you just have to, with Apple Barrel, you just can let it sit, and then later, it's super easy, um, to get off. So, um, yeah. So it should be dry. 
ends, y'all. I'm gonna run out of time. This is gonna be a really long video. Um, I'll try and make it only 15 minutes only, uh, but it'll probably be 20 at the rate of speed which I'm going. So like I like you saw, I added some super glue and now wrapping it around. Um, whoops, the whole thing around. You want to push it down with something. This isn't my first choice. Um, hold it and hold it and hold it. So we are probably going to run out of time. You know what? I'm making this into a two-parter. <laughs> I just figured I'm okay. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, because it does take a long time for this to stick, uh, especially because it's at such a weird angle, and my super glue is not the strongest. Sorry if you can't see this very well, but, um, just enjoy Waxer in the background, just look at him, or the pilot. Um, yeah. So, this will be a two-parter. I, I, I guess I'll do that. Just because, at this rate, it will be a literally 35-minute video. Just putting on the armor on the arms. Maybe it will be a three-parter, I don't know. Would you guys like it to be a two-parter or a three-parter? A two-parter, it will just be the arms applying them. Three-parter will be the legs and the, um, yeah, and the helmet and the visor. So, yeah, it's almost, okay, it's almost done, but, um, yeah, so now... You have this. I highly recommend you buy this template card too. It's very good. Um, so now you have this. Uh, we will. There's no point in me doing two arms. Uh, you know I keep time constraining things. But next, you'll want to take the little rectangular piece that you will have. You can get a good look at it. I'm trying cut it out just so it's long enough if it's not long enough uh then you're in trouble but if it's just cut it out longer because it's safer to do that just because when you put it on um it won't if it's too long you can just cut it off while it's on just the slightest but um yeah so actually we'll use this piece and it doesn't have too much sharpie on it uh i always use sharpie beforehand um, just to outline where my stuff's going to be cut out. So yeah, put that on, put it like angled so that it's right, it lines up with how the pieces, see how it's kind of like making a straight line in the middle of the black. So now that's like that. Uh, it will be kind of tilted down. Um, so yeah, let that sit a minute. Um, so you'll want to wrap that around too. It will not cover the whole back part. That is because, um, actually this back piece is not all the way, but um, this part right here will be for the elbow pads. Uh, so you'll want to keep a space right there. That's why you shouldn't make it all the way so it fills this part too um so yeah uh this is my first tutorial i think it is maybe it's my second um so please do not if you don't like it just uh just let me know because this is not the best quality tutorial a ton of people have better ones but i'm just trying to help you guys out um so, we're closing in on 15 minutes, I think. So, I think I'll end it here. Uh, remember, I will, in the time 
between part two. This will be wrapped around, so we'll skip that little part, um, just so you guys don't have to wait. But after that, we should be pretty in the clear. Um, yeah. So until then, this is goodbye, and have a nice day.